All right, y'all. Um, like I said, I'm going to finish that series of videos on the elements and uh, all of that. But just right now, I'm just going to share some stories with y'all about the wind element and uh, like my kindred connection with it. Um, like I had said, I, I used to be able to create little whirlwinds at will and just control the wind how I wanted to. Like, I literally could control it, y'all. Uh, it wasn't like control, though. It was more like a kindred relationship with it. It would do things for me because we were I was just close with it. And that's really how you need to view your connection with any of these elements. Y'all want to master the elements. Then you need to understand that you're not actually controlling them. They are living beings. Uh, it would be foolish and um, rude of you to think that you can actually control them. Uh, they're a greater force of nature than you will ever be. Um while you're incarnate in a physical human body but um you need to understand that you're actually building a relationship with these forces of nature um that's how you're gonna get you know more power with these elements is to understand that they're alive and to understand that you're trying to build a relationship with it everything in magic is about building a relationship with these things, okay? And that's why they say that love rules everything, okay? It's true. What connects you to another living person in, a, in some kind of a friendship or relationship? Love. If you don't really love that person, they're going to know. And your friendship will never be that close, okay? Love is really what connects everything. So you need to understand that if you want to build a relationship with these elements and with these different spirits and powers, you need to go forward as if it, you're building a relationship or a friendship with them, okay? Love is literally the bridge that connects things together. I don't know if that smoke ring picked up on the camera or not, but that was cool. Uh, so, you know, like, you've got to love these things, and they'll feel it. Yes, wind has feelings. <laughs> the earth has feelings. Fire has feelings. The water has feelings, okay? The, everything has feelings. The camera recording me has feelings, okay? Uh, everything has feelings, whether or not you think it's an inanimate object or not. It's all energy. And it's all connected to you at, like, the molecular atomic level. You know, and that's just the physical part. Atoms are just physical. There is an indivisible energy. Even beyond that, it's called the ethers. It's called the spirit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, like I said, you can't be caught up on the physical of everything. You're not a scientist, uh, especially, well, actually, I don't know who's all watching these videos, but, you know, you've got to understand that there is invisible realities that we do not see with our eyes, that science can never measure physically, because they're not physical. They're indivisible realities, okay, so, uh, we're connected. Everything's connected. Alright. There's a part of yourself that you don't love. Um, you're going to create problems and you're going to suppress that into your shadow. And it's, it's going to be like a rejected part of yourself. So if you don't love the wind, if you don't love these different elements, you're actually, you know, whether you're aware of it or not, you're actually rejecting that as being part of you. So it's never going to work out how you want it to. Alright. Let me get to these stories, y'all. Before I keep rambling on. Uh, so 
so I used to create these dirt devils and dust devils, you know, little whirlwinds of wind. I used to just do that all the time. I used to control the wind to do stuff. Uh, it did get more powerful the more that I kept learning how to do it and kept doing it and just kept being, you know, in a relationship with the wind. It kept getting more and more powerful, the things that it would do for me. So, uh, let me tell y'all. I'm just going to share a few stories, but I mean, I used to do this constantly all the time when I was a kid and when I was in high school and shit, but uh, that's really when it reached the peak of power. So when, let me just share one of these experiences. In uh, high school, in art, I was in an art class and we were doing paintings. Uh, the teacher let us go outside to paint if we wanted to or we could stay in the classroom. I chose to go outside. Because, like I told y'all, I was just connected with nature back then. I don't know if y'all heard that popping sound or not. But uh, I chose to go outside and do my painting out there. So I had it on like the easel and I was just painting away. And uh, the art teacher, she kept coming out there. And I don't know what was up with her, but she kept like talking down on my artwork and my process. Like, she just kept you know, telling me you're doing this wrong and stuff. And I'm like, you know, wait a minute, this is art. Like, what What do you mean I'm doing it wrong? Uh, that doesn't even make sense because art is art. Okay, you're the creator. There's no such thing as doing art wrong. Uh, but she kept coming out there and like criticizing me. And I don't know if she was doing that to like push me to do better. Or if she was really just being rude, I don't know. But it pissed me off, y'all, because she kept doing it over and over again. And I was not seeing her doing that to the other student. So, uh, back then, I was more dark-sided than anything. Uh, because of the way that my life was back then. And the way that people had treated me and stuff. Uh, when I got all this power, I did, you know, use it a lot just to get back at people, I'm not going to lie, but, so, the last time that the teacher came out there, before she said, I heard her start to open her mouth, and before she said anything, I turned around, and I just gave her this look, like, this, you know, like, this glare, with just rage, and right in that moment, this, the wind swept through there, and it created a whirlwind, literally, like, about three feet away, which swept up all this dirt, and it went right, like, to her. And it got all this dirt in her eyes to where she had to, like, run back inside the building and, like, clean her eyes out. And, uh, that was just what I didn't consciously do that. I just turned around with anger and the wind did that for me. Like I told y'all, it's a relationship. So, it just imagine if you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend and they realize that someone has, has hurt you or made you upset. Uh, they react, so the wind did that to her. Uh, and after that, she left me the fuck alone. She never came out there to criticize me again. She let me do my thing, and she like she left me alone after that. Y'all like she never gave me problems again. The whole time I was in school. Um. So I just thought that was interesting. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and skip to, because I, th I think I have a few minutes left, I'm going to skip to one of the most powerful things that the wind has done for, for me before. Around that same time period, maybe like a year or so later, I was still, I was like a senior in high school this time, and uh, me and my little brother and my cousin, my younger cousin, who's like a brother pretty much. We were at my house and we were outside, you know, just doing whatever, messing around. And uh, I used to be like a show off when it came to magic because I've always been the type that always that just wants to prove that magic is real rather than just know and have it myself. I always wanted to prove it to people that it was real. So we were outside. Uh, <clears throat> we were like throwing stuff at each other, you know, just messing around, and I think I hit my little brother with something, and he got a little bit upset, 
he pulls out a pocket knife, you know, and he, he pretends like he's going to throw it at me, but he doesn't really. And then I, I just look at him and I, I give him this challenge, I'm like, throw it, do it. And uh, he's like, for real, and I'm like, yeah, throw it, do it. And so he does. He goes ahead and he throws it, and uh, right whenever he does that, we were quite far away, so it's like, it's like midway between us, and all of a sudden this, this huge dirt devil comes out of nowhere, a huge tornado of wind, and like with all this uh, dirt in it and stuff, it comes from behind him like following the same path of the knife that he threw. It catches up to the knife in the middle of in the middle of us. Right when it gets to the knife, y'all, the knife like stopped in midair for like a few seconds while the whirlwind was around it. And then the knife just drops straight down. It stops going forward. It just stops in the air and drops down. Then the whirlwind keeps coming towards me. And uh right when it gets to where I am I was jumping for some reason, I don't even remember why, I jumped, and the whirlwind came around me, and I was in the center of it, and y'all made me float for like, about 10 seconds, I would say. When I jumped up, I was like, you know, however far off the ground I was, but when I was coming back, when I was falling back down to the earth, the whirlwind actually held me up, or made me like, um fall down like way slower than he would just jumping like it it gently set me back down on the ground and my cousin and my little brother both saw this and they were like in shock but I was just laughing about it y'all uh it was pretty cool but that was like the most powerful thing that the wind has ever done for me so thought I would share that and let y'all know that you know these elements and stuff when you get in a real relationship with them and a kindred connection and you really love them they will do things for you and uh, I know that's like a small example that's like playful but it did stop the knife from flying at me and it could have stabbed me you never know but I'm just letting y'all know that uh, they'll protect you as well and stuff like that so I just wanted to share that quick little story these quick little stories this video is about to end uh, but I will be back with um, the updates on the element videos with um, wind, water, and earth next, and then ether or spirit. Alright, blessed me all, and hell to the witches.